Solutions of copper sulfate contain copper ions, and they have a beautiful blue color. But check out what happens when I add some salt to the solution of copper sulfate. The color shifts to green. This is because the copper ions react with the chloride ions in the salt to form a green colored copper chloro complex. Let's see how both of these solutions react with some aluminum metal. Hey, maybe something's going on. Let's zoom in to take a closer look. Yep. In the copper solution that contains salt, I see some sort of chemical reaction going on, but nothing's happened in the copper solution that doesn't contain salt. Aluminum metal will react with copper ions in solution to produce copper metal, and this process dissolves the aluminum. But it's pretty clear this same reaction doesn't happen in the copper solution that does not contain salt. The reason for this is that aluminum metal contains an oxide coating that protects it from attack against the copper ions. Interestingly though, if chloride ions are present in solution, they breach this oxide layer. This allows the copper ions to attack the aluminum metal, which allows the reaction to occur. I've used a solution of copper sulfate with added salt to break through the aluminum on the outside of a soda can. I've also tried this experiment after sanding the paint off the can and also opening the can before placing it in the solution of copper. In this case, the results are a lot less messy. What I like about this particular method is you can see copper metal form on the outside of the can. And if you wait long enough, the copper solution will eat through the can.